Good morning, everybody. Good morning. As you can see, the day is a lot better weather yeah. than it the, has the, been. Yeah, we actually can see the sun today. Can actually see it. Yesterday was completely total 100% overcast pretty much all day. Yeah. Um, there wasn't a blue streak in the entire sky. But that's okay, because you know, sometimes on those days where it's completely overcast, it's nice. Um, you know, sometimes the sun, when you're trying to get work done and it's always blaring in your eyeballs and stuff, is not the best. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> sometimes. Yeah, or you gotta wear, like for me, wear my sunglasses all day. Yeah, you gotta wear your sunglasses all day. Yeah. Different things. So it's a nice little tiny change of pace, a little tiny bit. Yeah, just different I don't mind scenery. it. But um, I did miss the sun <laughs> yesterday because I froze to death. Yes, yesterday was pretty cold. <laughs> um, and when I say that, I know I've said it so many times, guys. I'm just saying one last time. I'm only meaning for us because we're a bunch of wimps. <laughs> we are a bunch of wimps when it comes to the cold weather. Uh, I don't know what else to say. We just are. I really feel for you guys up in like the northeast area and all that stuff going on right now oh i know yeah it was on the news this morning they were talking about the weather over there and it's horrible yeah it's pretty cold i forget how many thousands of people they said were out of power oh i didn't like, hear that but. yeah there's i mean maybe it's back on now but when on the news they're saying so many people are out of power it's massive huge uh winter storms going on over there and for some of you guys that are up there right now i'm sure you know exactly what i'm talking about yeah <laughs> so I'm not going to sit here and complain about the cold weather because obviously we don't know what we're talking about yeah, when it yeah. comes to the cold. Yeah, we're, well, we got the sun today. I'm sure <laughs> yeah. some of them over there haven't even seen the sun in a week. Yeah, <laughs> you know? not sure, but you know, I get it. But we, we're like I said, we're just a bunch of wimps when it comes to the cold, but we can't we can't help it. Yeah, we just like to complain. I'm just yeah. kidding. <laughs> no, I don't like complaining. <laughs> I'm not complaining about this really nice creek going on right now. Yeah, it's very <laughs> peaceful. And yeah. So we've been busy on uh, some projects around here. Yesterday we were working out. That's where we're getting out. It was little snow flurries coming down. Yeah. Which is nice because, you know, it's nice moving out here from the desert and we actually get seasons. Yeah, it's true. You know, in, in the desert where we're from, you get, you get summer and you get winter. And winter is not even winter. No, you know, it's <laughs> funny because today on the news I've seen um, for Vegas weather, they're supposed to be getting snow and stuff here. Really? Yeah. It's really good. Well, it's been cold there. Um, Vegas does get snow every once in a blue moon. Yeah. I think it was like 07 or 08. It was 07. Yeah. We got that. That was. It was a really big, for Vegas, yeah. a really big snowstorm. Like the freeways were like shut down a little bit and. The yeah. streets were piled up like four feet of snow, like from the, believe it or not, they have snow plows there. Okay, <laughs> believe it or not, but they, yeah. you know, so that, yeah, that was a crazy, I remember that winter storm. Yeah, I had to drive home from work and it, it started when I was at work and I remember they made us all go out there and shovel the snow off the sidewalk because <laughs> they didn't want people to slip. Just in Vegas, like if it's raining or snowing, if it's any yeah, other weather it. than forget sunny, it. they can't drive. It could be sprinkling, like one little drop on your windshield and there's accidents all over the place. Yeah, and it, you know, it's either they kidding. go, they go really, really fast. They're like, oh, it's snowing out. Let's do a hundred miles an hour, you know, <laughs> or they'll go so slow. And I do really feel for you guys, if you guys are in the Northeast in that whole area where the snow is going, the winter storm, um, I feel for you guys. Hopefully you guys are all safe. Hopefully you guys have prepared for stuff like that. I'm sure you guys oh, have. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, and I hope everything is going going okay. Yeah, it's not the only time that uh, this has ever happened over there. So but yeah, crazy times in the world. Like you were doing some research on some stuff just yesterday. Yes, I <laughs> kind of went down a little bit of a rabbit hole, and um, I happened to see on YouTube there was a video somebody posted talking about food recalls and how that you know the only time you ever hear, at least for me, the only time I ever hear any time there's a food recall is if it's something really bad. You know, like. I think it was tomatoes a few years ago that were had salmonella and like there was a big to do about it but other than that you never really hear about any like recall stuff so um this youtube channel uh, was talking about um all the different types of food recalls that have been recalled that haven't really been press released and so i decided hey i'm gonna go on the fda's website and look and see what some of these food recalls have been and man I was like on a tangent about it because I don't think that's right 
to not you know let the people know i mean yes you could go on the website and look but i didn't know that they even had a website for that on this fda website i'm on there right now on my phone and i'm just going to read a couple of the um fda's safety recalls maybe these are things that you guys didn't know on december 15th a possible health risk for uh quaker granola and this includes granola bars and their granola cereal and it was for salmonella contamination now i never heard of that until then i've been to the grocery store usually they'll post that stuff up there if it's really bad outbreak or sometimes even on your receipts they'll say you know it's, it's very concerning to me that there is so many recalls out there for just salmonella poisoning um just food alone is crazy i mean there's so many different things that you don't even hear about ever so the fda's website that i'm on or that's on their website it doesn't just include food it does have like medical it does have like uh like you know car seats and stuff products that are also being recalled it's everything i was explaining to anthony i'm like okay so say an example say tuna they had a salmonella exposure to tuna but instead of releasing it to the press they just decided to contact all these stores that have it to pull it off their shelves and if whatever's been sold has been sold so let's say i happened to buy that can of tuna literally two hours before they pulled it off the shelves and i have salmonella in it well now i have just infected my whole family it can be very serious yeah. just the fact that you could buy it because it's not like it's not known. thrown out in everybody's face like super bluntly like hey guys hey the whole world blah 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 for really really bad cases they do do stuff like that but when she was talking to me about like some of the stuff just so far for the month of january there has been 10 uh recalls so far 10 already uh and the newest one was on the 9th <laughs> of the safety recalls isn't that crazy guys it is crazy i just i <laughs> i always thought and maybe shame on me for assuming but i always thought just like when we were talking that every time every time there was a food recall that they would have to like publicly announce it not just on a website even on the fda fda website it says that not all of them are getting like a public release it says the list below provides information gathered from press releases and other public notices about certain recalls for or certain recalls of the FDA regulated products. Not all recalls have press releases or are posted on this page. And they're talking about this one page on their website. You'd have to click on a different link to go see all of them. Yeah, and like really dig into it. But know? what do you guys think about that? Where not all recalls have press releases. Yeah. I wish and thought that they had to do that. I think they should do that. I think they should only because as a consumer <laughs> and I'm consuming this product that you're doing, I want to know that it's, you know, I mean, you can't trust everything they put in stuff nowadays. At least I mean, that's my thought process. You can't even read 90% yeah. of what you eat nowadays. Yes, I've kind of made that one of my 2024 goals is to kind of pay attention to really what I'm putting inside my body uh, and where it's coming from yeah where it's coming from <clears throat> I would love to be able to just grow my own food and hunt my own food and stuff like that but unfortunately like we're not there yet but I want to know that hey if I'm buying this can of tuna I'm getting tuna and water <laughs> I'm not getting tuna water with this weird gum stuff and some weird packed thing full I, of preservatives yeah, that i can't even and... pronounce you know i don't even know what it is and who gonna... knows where it came from maybe there's super high levels of mercury last week but not no more i mean who knows we'll never know because on certain things unless you really really dive deep into it personally there ain't no press release on certain things not everything but on some things so yeah and I that mean, was eye-opening for me very eye-opening <laughs> for me like i said i seen that uh it was a youtube video it just randomly popped up on my yeah. my feed and i was like hmm, i'm curious so i clicked on it you know and then of course i got my mind oh okay. <laughs> down the rabbit hole yeah and went. then i started kind of digging into it more <laughs> and then i'm like man maybe i shouldn't have no <laughs> no <laughs> that's why that's one of the reasons why they say guys whenever you're sick never google your symptoms yeah yeah okay you're like man my back hurts and you'll type it in why does my back hurt man they'll come up with 300 reasons why you're about to die yeah yeah 
why does my lower back hurt on the right side? Yeah. Oh, well, if it's the right side, it's because um, your kidneys are going out. Yeah, and, and your liver is failing. Yeah. And, you know, I'm, we're making stuff up, yeah, right? Yeah, but that's what, and, you, and you'll get scared to death. Yeah. For uh, me, like the rabbit hole, because I, um, I mean, like I said, we're trying to make a healthier ch um, choices as far as our food and where it's coming from. Instead of going up and down the aisles inside the grocery store, you try to stay on the outside of the grocery stores because that's usually where you're going to get the most natural products. Try to get rid of some of the junk that's in all of our food nowadays. Yeah, that's not meant for the human body to, I guess, properly digest and get rid of. Yes, this is my personal opinion. The way we have treated food um, in this country and around the world, and I am no expert, so don't quote me on anything, but the second high fructose, fructose, however you want to yeah, say fructose. it, corn syrup has came around. That's when everybody started getting really fat. Yeah, That's fats. when everybody uh, started having all these health problems. That's when a lot of this stuff um, started. And when they started processing food. All that plays in everything and everybody's health issues, in my personal opinion. Yeah, I have a, a theory and a... a <laughs> It's, uh, I mean, think about it. I have a theory and an opinion on that particular thing you're mentioning, but I won't. I won't bring it up. Um, Too hardcore, huh? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, kind of maybe make me seem like I got the tin foil hat on or something, you know. Sometimes we all wear tin foil hats. <laughs> I think all of us do. Yeah. But I just, I was just totally blown away by those recalls on there. Like, if you guys are ever curious, you know, go check it out. It's on the FDA website. It's not like it's totally hidden information, but I think that's just something people should pay attention to. I know I've never paid attention to it. I've never. The only time I ever do is like if it's, you know, on the news and, um, you know, there's signs posted everywhere about, you know, certain things and, you know. Yeah. Like I've seen it before where they've had um, <laughs> romaine lettuce with salmonella. Yeah. That's and what you, I was talking about. Remember the tomatoes? Yeah. And you think, and I know, I mean, I don't know, but... You think, how does romaine lettuce get salmonella? Yeah. Well, the whole process of doing it, something gets contaminated along the way. Yeah, that's what some it's of craziness. these are too. Like, um, there's one, I can't think of the name of the company right now, but it's like a soybean, some kind of organic material in it that can't be specified. So that's why they recalled it. Yeah, not everything on the recall list is going to be because it has a virus or yeah, bacteria or, yeah, or yeah, nothing. It's got salmonella poisoning. Yeah, yeah. There's other things that are on that website. Tons of different things. Hey, another one that was kind of <laughs> disturbing. Baby formula. Oh, that's on a lot. Yeah, that was on there just recently. Um, December. I've heard of baby formula getting recalled a bunch. Yeah, I want to say it's like December 26th or something like that. Recently, they had a recall on formula, baby formula. It's nuts. For salmonella. Yeah, it's nuts, guys. <laughs> Got to be careful what we eat. Yeah. Got to be careful what we put in our bodies. I guess more aware of kind of what's going on and like Sun. you just mentioned it's very eye-opening you know sometimes certain things are totally unavoidable like like we're trying to eat clean I know there's gonna be things that we buy that have stuff in it that there's really not a way I can avoid it and it's sad because nowadays you can't avoid all the preservatives and stuff you you can let me rephrase that but man is it difficult oh yeah Man, I mean, is it difficult. Unless it's 100% fresh, like an apple. But even that's got wax on it. Yeah, it's got chemicals on it from it's the- It's got chemicals on it to keep it shiny and looking good. The only way you can is if you <laughs> grow your own and hunt your own. Let me know if you guys ever thought of that kind of stuff, because I didn't really think about the FDA recalls that much, um, ever, in my entire life. How I thought, I need to go on this website and double check some stuff before I go to the grocery store. Yeah, because we always just trusted it would be out in the public. You know? But I guess, according to them, it's not. We got some stuff to get done today. I got to check some websites, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Different things. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> we do have some work to do today. The sun is shining. It has been a very good morning, the weather-wise. I'm very happy for it. A little frozen this morning, but... It's not too bad. Yeah. It's not too bad. No. But guys, you know what? Stay healthy. Oh, yes. Stay healthy, stay safe, and stay motivated, guys. We appreciate every single one of you. And I guess we will catch you guys all tomorrow. Bye. Bye.